everybody, welcome back. Um, I want to make a quick video to show you a, an easy way to make perfect notches in, in this particular case, these tabs. As you can see, one of these tabs has a notch in it and one of them doesn't. Uh, what I'm using these for is to go on this tube to mount the radiator in place like this. If you have some tabs, uh, some flat bar, anything that you want to put notches in, um, but and you want a perfect notch so it welds real nice, uh, there's an easy way to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So come on over here to the workbench and let's do this. Okay, as you can see, we got one of the tabs uh, bolted down to the workbench. And what we've done is we did some layout work on the workbench and it had some existing holes in it for various other things that I've done like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a hole saw that matches the size of the tube that this tab is going on. So what we did is we did the layout work and positioned this tab in a place that when the, when the hole saw pilot is in position, it cuts a perfect arc in this part. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, there it is. Now, if you notice, I forgot to mention earlier, but this end of the part is tacked in place. Now, if you tack your part in the right place, which I didn't do this time, but if you tack it in the right place, the hole saw will actually cut through the tacks and you don't even have to break that piece off of there. But as you can see, the tacks are so light that the part just breaks off of there with no effort at all. Now, I didn't want to grab it because it's probably still hot. So all we have to do now is just break our part loose. And take it off the table. As you can see, we cut that notch through that tab, and that's the size tube that it goes on, and it fits absolutely perfect. Now we're going to have an upcoming video uh, where we're going to show you how to put the same radius or the same kind of notch through sideways through a tube at an angle, through a piece of angle iron, square tubing, any way you want to do it with a simple hole saw and some scraps you have laying around the shop. So stay tuned. And as always, thanks again for watching a new video. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and hope to see you back in the next one. Remember, do it yourself in the garage. Thanks again.